Spotify playlists are sketchy, and there are a lot of playlist owners out there that are trying to get independent artists to purchase promotion packages and placements on entirely bot-run playlists. Now, if you've never heard of a bot before, a bot-run playlist is a playlist that is entirely made up of fake accounts. There's no real people and no potential fans. One of my friends was actually a victim of one of these bot playlists, which was actually a bummer. And you might be thinking, why is that a bummer when even on a bot playlist, your streams go up, your monthly listeners go up, it could look good to the outside. But I wanna show you an image of why this is bad and this image should actually strike fear into the hearts of all artists on Spotify. His Spotify followers went from over 1,100 followers to being cut in half in about a 24 hour period. Why? Well, it's because Spotify knows when you're using less than legitimate marketing tactics on their platform and they're cracking down on bot activity as a whole. This means removing your followers, reducing stream counts, and even taking away your royalties that were generated from black hat marketing tactics that are less than legitimate. On top of all that, when Spotify finds out that you've been using fake playlists, you can kiss your chances of getting algorithmic placements or even getting on Spotify curated playlists goodbye because they blacklist artists that use sketchy tactics. So what did I do about all of this? Well, I spent the last three months testing all of the Spotify playlist options that I know about, and I spent thousands of my own money building a case study for you guys so that you can know the difference between a Spotify playlist that's legit and one that's a scam. So stick with me through the end of this video and I'll show you all the data, analytics, and the red flags to look for when setting up your own legitimate Spotify playlist promotion campaign. And I'll also tell you how to connect with real Spotify playlist influencers so that you can avoid those bot run Spotify playlist scams that are just gonna end up wrecking your music career. So let's discuss. <laughs> Hey everyone, my name is Ryan Vatsek from the Indie Music Academy and if you've been following me for a while, you'll know that I'm only a proponent of white hat marketing strategies that actually build real relationships with real fans, right? That take them on a fan journey through the no like trust strategy that I always talk about so that you could take them from stranger to VIP. If that was all new to you, if you've never heard any of that stuff before, I have a free workshop where I talk about all of that and I'll put the link in the description below. It's totally free for you to check out. So with Spotify playlist promotion, that should be no exception. Promotion isn't just about boosting your numbers, increasing stream counts. It should be about making real relationships with real fans. So even Spotify playlist promotion should be building real relationships with real fans. But we all know that every time we sign up for Spotify playlist promotion, we're rolling the dice as to whether or not real people are gonna actually listen to our music. So I urge you guys to agree with me on this one and to be militant about this, that if you're not marketing to real people, you're not marketing at all. I've always said this, and I've also always said that any method of gaming the system or artificially boosting stream counts or followers with bots is actually gonna hurt your music career in the long term rather than help it. So with all that being said, I wanna show you everything I've learned about how to spot a playlist that just runs bot traffic to your songs and one that actually has real listeners with real fans and real engagement. So let's head over to the screen capture and we'll begin. Okay, I'm gonna dive into all of the analytics that you need to look out for when using playlists so that you can understand it and you can know which playlists are legit. But before we dive in, I wanna show you the two tools I'll be using. First is this one, you should recognize it because this is just the Spotify for Artists dashboard and I'm over here on my song Home where I have the analytics pulled up for this song. And then the second tool I'll be using is my AWOL analytics dashboard. AWOL is my distributor and I love them because their analytics are actually more detailed than what Spotify gives you. So I just wanted to let you know about that before we begin. First, I wanna show you a huge difference between a legitimate playlist and a bot run playlist. And that difference is just gonna be whether or not fans are doing realistic fan activities. So the first thing I'm gonna show you is over here in AWOL, here's my song Home, and 
on home, I got on a playlist called the normal people who lose soundtrack. Now, this is a really legit playlist created by someone who uses SEO to get their playlist in Google search and people who are searching for the show normal people are stumbling upon this playlist and it's growing an organic following. This playlist doesn't have any bot traffic. It's not running any paid ads from overseas just to get really cheap streams that Spotify actually hates. This is an organic following built up with search engine optimization. And the first thing that I noticed is that when I got my song on this playlist is that as it should be, 88% of the streams were coming from this other playlist source. That's totally normal. If you're doing Spotify playlist promotion and you're tapping into an audience that's larger than yours, you'll find that most of your streams are going to come from other playlists. That's totally normal. But here's the thing that took me by surprise. If I scroll down a bit more and I look at the devices where these streams are coming from, there's a nice little pattern here. 18% are from desktop, 65% are from mobile devices, and then 17% are from other, right? They're from TVs, from Alexas, from PlayStations and Xboxes, other devices. So keep this in mind because this is what realistic fan activity looks like. If you get on a playlist, people are most likely going to stream on their desktop and mobile first, right? This makes up about 80%. So now in comparison, I used a different playlist promoter for this song and some of my inside sources told me that this individual is a known bot user on their playlist. If that's true, let's just simply scroll to the bottom and see if there's a difference in the analytics regarding the realistic fan activity. And when I do that and scroll to the bottom and check out the devices that these streams are coming from, just look at the difference. 1% of streams are coming from desktop, 4% from mobile, and then 94, most of the streams are coming from other devices. But this is a massive difference. And what this tells me is that these are not real fans that are streaming. A real person would stream on their desktop during work or they'd stream on their phone in the car or on a jog or just airplaying to some device in their house, right? And then the minority would be from other devices like Alexas and Xboxes because they're just not used for music as often as your phone. And so having 94% of my streams on this song coming from other devices is just a huge red flag in regards to this playlist. So I don't put my stamp of approval on this because this doesn't look like realistic fan activity to me. And if I can tell the difference, then Spotify can definitely tell the difference. And that's what I'm worried about. So with that said, let's actually move to my second test where I used a different artist and a different song. My buddy, Artur Nelson, he had a song that was perfect for testing. Take a look. So over in his Spotify for artist profile, I noticed that he had one song that was not getting very many streams. And in the last 28 days, his song Fine only got about 17 streams. So this was the perfect blank slate to run another Spotify playlist test to see if we were getting real listeners that actually followed real fan patterns. So here are just some screenshots of before we got him on any legitimate playlists, right? You can see May 3rd to May 9th. In the last seven days, only one stream. And as you can see, he's not on any other playlist. So the data is not going to get skewed. You can see here in the same chunk of time he's not getting any streams just that one stream that we saw in this graph as well so the analytics are consistent and before we got him on any playlists you'll see that same graph pattern here over in devices 13 percent from desktop 74 percent on mobile and 13 percent on other this is the realistic fan pattern that we want to see even after we get on a Spotify playlist, basically all the time, because this is the thumbprint of real fans listening to your music. So I'm gonna keep this up, and now let's go into today's analytics. So I'm here once again in AWOL analytics in our tours profile, and here's the amazing thing. Before Spotify playlist promotion, he was getting eight streams a day, six streams, uh, zero, then eight again. And that was his rhythm. And then we got him on a playlist. Once again, he got about a thousand streams a day. And then after getting off the playlist, this was his new rhythm. He was getting 46 streams a day. He was getting 50 streams a day. He was actually getting people following up 
on his music after he was off of the playlist. I'm gonna set the analytics down to just one day. We're gonna look at just one day of fan activity and scroll to the very bottom. And you'll see that 70% of his streams just today came from fan collections. That means people listening on their own playlists, on their favorited songs playlists, and even on their recently played playlists. This is what real people listening to music on Spotify looks like. And even if we go down to devices, we can see a healthy 67% are listening on their mobile phones, which is exactly what we would expect from real people. Guys, this is the stuff that nobody is talking about anywhere. And I hope that you guys are satisfied with all of the due diligence and all the analytics and all the money that I spent putting this test together for you. But seriously, guys, there is a way to use Spotify playlists safely. You need to know what to look for, how to spot the scams, and how to know if you're getting real fans listening to your music or you're just getting bots. And the artist that knows the difference can safely promote their music with Spotify playlist promotion and find new fans. And the artist that doesn't know is just gonna screw up their Spotify algorithm and eventually get blacklisted by Spotify for sketchy bot activity on their profile. So after all of the data collection and all of the tests that I put together and all of the money spent, I went one step further because I knew that you're going to want to know how to get in touch with these real Spotify playlist influencers. So what I did is I secured a deal with these guys who usually only work with independent and major record labels, right? They're pretty exclusive, but I made a way that Indie Music Academy students can get access to the same promoters and the same influencers that major record labels use for their artists. So if you're interested in that, I have a link below where you can view the packages that I've negotiated in advance for you, right? These are not available anywhere and they're the same exact influencers that I use to run these tests to find these fans who listen even after you're off of the playlist. It's honestly the only option I would ever recommend to an artist who wants to do legitimate Spotify playlist promotion. So once again, I'm going to leave that link just below. Check it out if you're ready to promote on Spotify and you can get these same results for your music. So I hope that this video was helpful to you. I hope that this just opened your eyes to what you need to pay attention to when doing Spotify playlist promotion. And once again, I'll see you at the link below where I'll go over in detail what you need to do next to get your music in legitimate Spotify playlists. So I'll see you there.